Everyone, my name is Python GB, and welcome back to the second episode of the new Fortress server. Of course, this is season two, and you've got a very, very big close up on my face because you may recall I kind of put myself in a little tree hole to end the first episode there. Uh, so, uh, I can hear a skeleton around me, which is kind of concerning. Well, hang on a sec, let me just eat this bread really quick. There we go. Maximum hunger, like a boss. As you can see, we've already got a bunch of cool resources like diamonds, we've got some iron, redstone, lapis. Some coal, and of course, iron. I think I've already said that, but oh well. Let's let's go down and see what's going on. Hello. Anything to report? I have no idea, honestly. Oh, bunnies! Hey, buddy! Hello! Hi! How are you doing? Hopefully you're good. Hmm. Right, anyways, in this episode, we're going to start off by uh, exploring the world just a little bit, because I want to try and find a cool place to set up a new project. The project of which is going to be a fortress. Yep. A fortress on the fortress server. Who would have known that would have made sense? I don't know, but yes, we're going to be making ourselves a massive fortress. And basically, the fortress itself is just going to be like a massive wall around a big area. And obviously, inside the fortress, we're going to have like a big village type thing. And hello, how are you doing? <laughs> oh boy, I'm kind of excited because it is the start of a brand new, uh, brand new mega project. And I... I'm a fan of mega projects because it means we can spend a whole bunch of time doing it and all should be good. So, I should probably go over a few things that you might have missed on the first episode. First of which, the seed for this server is in fact private. We're keeping it private for, to start out with because obviously uh, it's, it's more of a spoilers thing. We don't want anybody spoiling anything that goes on within the seed. Yes, I did pick this speed, uh, seed specifically because it had a whole bunch of biomes within the world border which we have. And just to clarify, the world border, if you are at zero, zero, you'll be able to go 2,000 blocks in any direction before you find the world border, okay? So the total diameter, the total size of our world is 4,000 by 4,000, okay? So it's pretty cool. Kind of encourages us to sort of stay closer as a community, I guess. Uh, but yeah, like I said, there's a whole bunch of biomes. I'm pretty sure we've got like a mesa and a desert. I think a very small snow biome somewhere about. So, uh, yes, yes. Oh, a village. Hello. Oh, man, this might be a good place to set up just temporarily while we uh, get on our feet. Huh, interesting, interesting. Okay, I wonder if the uh, I wonder if there's a blacksmith house, and more to the point, if it's been raided or not. Good day to you, sir. Ah, uh, good day to you, sir. Ah, uh, good day to you, sir. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, good stuff. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, there is a blacksmith house. Ah, awesome. Okay, what's going on in here? <gasps> oh my god. <coughs> That was so epic that I had a coughing fit as a result. My god, 13 bits of obsidian, 3 diamonds, and a bunch of awesome armor. Oh boy! I am very, very excited. Right, hold on a sec, let me just do something really quick. I got myself a helmet! Awesome! Right now, here's what's gonna- Uh, zombie in well. Huh. Huh. Well, uh, I- Hmm, I don't know, man. I don't know. You shouldn't be in here. Hey, don't be smart on me. You don't bloomin' jump out, you jerk bag. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, I want you to go inside the houses. Uh, and I would actually like to get inside the houses. That'd be great. Right, okay, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna go and grab ourselves a whole bunch of books. Because, you know, that's kind of what to do in the villages. You go ahead and ransack all their books. Because, you know, I mean, why else are they there, I guess? I do need to, I do need to release something else from my inventory. Probably that bit of zombie flesh. My third slot right there. Hello. But yes, I'm going to be doing a fortress with a big village empire type thing inside it. Get out of here. There we go. All the books in the world. We should have 21. There we go. And there we go. Do a little bit of that. And if we do this and block it off. There we go. That guy's safe. Good stuff. That is what I like to see. Let's carry on grabbing the books. We're going to have 42. Which I believe. Let me just try and calculate this. That's going to give us 14 bookshelves. Ooh, one more if we could get level 30 enchantments. <laughs> awesome source. Awesome source. Alright, let's just carry on grabbing these things though. Okay, are there any villagers in here? Uh, are there any villagers inside any of the houses anywhere? I mean, I guess this is why I kind of prefer nighttime because, you know, all of these guys are staying in here. Right, you could stay in there. Alright, so we've got another librarian. What have you got? What? That's not too bad, actually. That is not too bad, Mr. Villager. Hmm. Your trades are not too bad. I will spare your life. I will do that for you. Right, okay, what else have we got that we don't really need? 
Uh, let me get rid of these arrows, and we are going to have some carrots on us. Oh, I'm going to have so many things already in our inventory. It's going to be amazing. It really is. Uh, okay, so that's that. Are there any potatoes? That is the question. Potatoes. Oh, potatoes. Give me some potatoes. Ready? Are there any? That's just wheat, 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 wheat. Potatoes. There we go. There's some. All right, more stuff to chuck away. Granite. Get out of here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've got pigs. <laughs> Stupid carrots. I don't need you. Don't need you pigs. Go away. Stop stop stalking me. This is weird. Eh. I only need to cook some stuff, aren't I? Good lord. Right. Okay, I'm not going to eat all of them, obviously, because that'd be a stupid idea. Anyways, let's go ahead and do a little bit of exploring. Well, I'm going to do a bit of an explore, and we are going to try and find ourselves a potential place to set up our awesome project. So, I shall carry on exploring this place just for a little while, and I shall see you guys, hopefully, once we find something cool. Huh, this looks like a pretty interesting piece of land. As you can see, we've got ourselves a clearing, but around it, we have ourselves a dark oak forest, which of course, we have an endless supply of mushrooms, basically, if we just keep growing them over and over. And of course, we've got dark oak there, we have spruce wood, or a tiger biome over there, which will give us spruce, and we, of course, we have a regular forest, which will give us birch and regular oak as well. So we have four wood types all around us. Let me just have a look over this, have a look over this hill just a wee bit. Let's just see what's going on. Ooh. I am liking this place though. This place has got some potential. I'll be honest with you guys, it's got some potential. We've got ourselves a nice mountain view. You got the Oh, that looks really cool actually. Ooh. I like this. This is a nice place. If I just do a bunch of terraforming and whatnot, I should be able to fit myself a nice sized fortress in this area. Do you know what I mean? I could have a bunch of stuff going on. Ooh. Oh man, there's gonna be a lot of terraforming involved, I'm not gonna lie. I would like to have the majority of my fortress sort of on the same altitude. I don't really want to have too many elevation changes. Like, for example, I would have to, I don't know, maybe flatten out this entire area down here. I think there's a cave entrance here. Is that, is that a cave entrance I see? With fl floating, floating grass. Floating grass. Uh, huh. Huh, I looked at it and it disappeared. Fear the mighty python GB. <laughs> I am the great floating grass destroyer. Apparently. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Okay, I need to set up a temporary shack, and as you can see, in terms of temporary shackage, I don't have a lot in terms of uh, house materials now, do I? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. Uh, that's another pond. Uh, what is it with these floating ponds? Not floating ponds, or just ponds in general. I hate them. They're so annoying. They almost always break up a nice amount of terrain. Right, okay. Uh, just a temporary shelter area. Uh, this looks like a pretty legit area. Yeah. Alright, my first little mini base, ladies and gentlemen. This is where it's gonna go. I'm making it out of cobblestone. My god, do I feel like a noob right now. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time since I've built a house out of cobblestone, I'll be honest with you guys. Do 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 do. There we go. Building all the houses like a pro. Do do. Entrance goes there. We're gonna have this like so. We've got that. Boom, boom, boom. I need two more bits of dirt. Okay, no worries. Let's have a look at the local difficulty. 3.56! What the hell? Oh yeah, that's right. Even though, even if there's nobody on the server, the blooming local difficulty keeps cranking up and so does the amount of days gone by. My god! That's insane! That means we're gonna have some really OP monsters around here. Ugh. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Good lord. Ugh. <laughs> Oh man, I am going to run out of time if I'm not quick. Alright, do 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 do, like so, that goes like that. Okay, and we're gonna have crafting table, furnace. Uh, we should be able to make ourselves a bed actually, we've got loads of wool. There we go, that should be easy, right? Boom, tuck that in there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's right, uh, Vince came on as well, just for a brief moment, while he was figuring out what to record, so that's always good to see. Okay, let's grab ourselves some more wood and let's continue with our little, little first home shack of shackiness. Our first home of shackiness. That sounds awful. That is just the most awful name I think I've ever come up with for anything ever. So, I apologize for putting that in your brains because that is a terrible name. It really is. <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself. Do, 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 do. Get rid of that. Okay, good stuff. Alright. Obviously, all projects start off with a little shack, obviously, because if you don't have a little shack, then, you know, where the hell are you going to store your stuff in the meantime? I mean, you're not going to store it inside the kingdom, even though you don't know where anything's going to go. 
That doesn't make any sense, does it? it just doesn't. Boom, boom. Okay, that goes like that. That can go like that. Uh, that's obviously going to be wood. No worries. So let's just carry on like so. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, we need to do the floor as well. Floor shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, let's do... What am I doing? I don't need feathers. Give me this. There we go. Doors. Doors, the doors, the doors, doors. Okay, now floor material. Wood. I mean, I don't know why not. I don't see why not. Man, this is like a Minecraft alpha build, isn't it? <laughs> Using regular oak wood and cobblestone. That is a great palette of blocks, Python. You've really outdone yourself this time, buddy. <laughs> oh, dear. Funny stuff. Funny stuff. All right, let me carry on making this little shack, and I shall meet you guys back, hopefully, once we are established. Alrighty, guys, I am back, and as you can see, the inside of my house is starting to look pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it as a first house, and as you can see, you know, you know, the outside is all done as well. We've got all of the woods and all of the roofs done, and there are a lot of zombies around my house right now. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's just be a wee bit careful. Let's be careful. I am not about to be set on fire and dead. That would be embarrassing. Right, as you can see, I've got myself a chest finally set up with a bunch of stuff in there, which is always good to see. And I've also gone ahead... What's in here? Is this the iron chest? It is the iron. It's not a chest, though. It is a furnace. We have all of our iron in here, and funny enough, it's actually just about done. Okay, right. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to make ourselves the remaining iron armor. Like so. Wait, we got the helmet, didn't we? Yeah, we got the helmet. Okay, so let's make the boots and the trousers. Like so. Or leggings, if you really want to call it that. And we are going to make ourselves an enchanting table as well. Just because we can, you know, I'm not... <laughs> we pretty much found everything that we would ever need to make an enchantment table, I guess. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Straight away. <laughs> Enchanter. Fantastic. Oh yeah. Right, okay. So we have ourselves some lapis. Okay, and then we can just go ahead and put some low-level enchantments on these things, I guess. Right, okay, so we've got general protection, which is pretty much what I want at this point. We don't really want anything too fancy. Protection, protection, protection. Why do I feel like I'm going to get something else on that one? Come on, big money! Oh, yes, big money, good stuff. Okay, what have we got? Feather falling. Projectile protection, protection, protection two. Let's get that one. There we go. And it's got feather falling. Fantastic, okay. Finally... Chuck that in there. I'm breaking. It's gonna have to be unbreaking, isn't it? I'm breaking. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. There we go. Oh, yay! Enchanted armor. I'm so happy right now. I am so happy. Okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of it. Our first little shack. Hey, isn't that isn't that right, cow? It's nice, isn't it? You are Moo Moo Mage. You know, we're probably not going to see him for a while, so uh, you are now Moo Moo Mage. So I would like you to get inside the house. Go on, you're going to live with me. Come on, buddy. Come on, you are my cow. You are Moo Moo. Go on, in you get. There you go, buddy. There you go. Just don't have any house parties while I'm away, okay? Just don't do that. Be a bit respectful and we'll all be good, okay? All right, let me... Give me some coal. Give me some coal. There we go. I'll have a, I'll have a little bit of wood as well. There we go. <laughs> Hey, you stay in there. You are not escaping, buddy. Right, okay, so... Another apple. Nice, okay. So, I think the first thing I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to go ahead and patch up all of these blooming... Uh, these pools, because I really don't like them. In my opinion, it really spoils the terrain. I mean, you may remember at the very start of my Python Place Minecraft Let's Play, that is one of the first things I did. I actually went ahead and I covered up the ponds that were nearby my village, because, again... Uh, I feel like it kind of breaks up the terrain, and I don't really like that. I mean, some people may like it, but I just don't. And let me just go ahead and put some uh, put some of the old torches in here, just in case mobs decide to spawn under here. Okay, there we go. And now we can start doing this thing. All right, good stuff. Oh, yeah. This is going to be brilliant. It's going to be brilliant. There we go. We're almost out of dirt already. Oh, no, make that present tense. We are out of dirt already. There we go. That lasted a long time, didn't it? <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you what, let's grab some dirt for me really quick. Alright, I am good to go. I am good to go. I think I've got some good plans for my fortress. Uh, we're going to need probably a cobblestone generator. Either that or we're going to need to do a lot of strip mining to indirectly get loads of cobblestone. Or something along them lines. You know what I mean? Because that's kind of the best way of doing it. Sort of, if you're doing something else at the same time, and yet you just conveniently manage to still get loads of the resource that you actually need, then, yeah, that's, that's all you really need, isn't it? There we go. Patched up. 
Awesome source. Okay, what's this down here? This is another pond, isn't it? Okay, good stuff. All right, okay. Another one to patch up, which is always good. All right, I'm going to make some torches really quick. Like so. Oh, yeah, there we go. Start patching this up. And, of course, let's put some torches in here. We're not going to have anybody spawn. No spawns allowed. Oh, well, maybe apart from squids. Although, to be honest, they're never going to get out of here. So, <laughs> suckers. Do, 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 do. All filling up. We need some more dirt. So much dirt is needed. We are digging it up from one place and putting it down in another. That's kind of the essence of Minecraft, isn't it? Oh, man. Sometimes I do still get nostalgic with Minecraft. Sometimes I do still like to go back and play a bit of Minecraft Alpha. Just so we... Just as sort of a reminder of just how far this game has come over the years. I mean, yeah, the updates have been really slow recently, haven't they? I mean, they haven't even released any spoilers or anything like that for 1.9. I believe they're starting up snapshots again in in, uh, in New Year's 2015, so I guess that'd be cool, you know. Finally get back on the grind of getting the new updates out. I'm pretty excited to see what they come up with for this one. Personally, I would really like to see a builder's update. An, an update focused entirely on new building blocks. That would be so cool. Why have they not done that yet? We've had a redstone update. We've had a mob update. Well, that, of course, being the horses. We've had the uh, the biomes update, 1.7. We've had the bountiful update, which was just a bunch of random crap, wasn't it? You know, we've got the water dungeons and the elder guardians and whatnots, and obviously all the nice little changes as well. I mean, yeah, there's, there's, there's still a lot of things they can do with this game. There really is. And as I keep saying, slabs and stairs for the new stone types. It is just... It is the simplest thing. It can't be that hard to add, right? It just can't be. Just imagine it, though. Slabs and stairs for not only just the polished versions of the andesite diorite and, uh... What's the other one? Granite. But, you know, the unpolished versions as well. You'd have 20... Wait. You'd have quite a lot of new variants, wouldn't you? Just a lot of them. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. I've still got a lot of preparation with this terrain, my friends. We're going to have to mow down all of this long grass and make all of this pl place flat and stuff. Oh my god, and then of course we can start getting on with making our big ass fortress. But for now, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode, my friends. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I do have a lot of plans for this series, so be sure to stick by me if you want to know when the future videos are out and when I'm getting to things. Who knows, I might even live stream parts of this because obviously there's going to be a lot of grindy things involved, you know, digging out the things. I mean, yeah, I'll do a lot of it off camera, but I don't know. I'll, I might live stream it. I might. I'm not saying I will. I'm saying I might, okay? So I'd advise either following me on Twitter or keeping a lookout for the old live stream announcements I put on YouTube. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, like I said, going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But for now, it is time for me to go. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. And I will see you guys in the next episode.